think I first came into contact with Robert Holmes when he sent in a story idea, um, which was, I think, one he'd sent in before, and he'd heard there was a new script editor and thought he might try again uh, with somebody who hadn't seen it. And eventually I commissioned him to write the scripts which became the Crotons. The show that Brian and Sherwin were working on, which was a comedy, uh, fell to pieces. You know, they suddenly went off it in a big way and they didn't like the scripts as they came in. They sent them back and they came back worse as far as they were concerned, you know. So there was a big crisis meeting and uh, David Maloney, who was the director, you know, was very upset and said, I can't, uh, you know, I can't cope with this and what are we going to do? And I then modestly said, well, I do happen to have this four-part serial, you see. And uh, I said to David, would you like to see it? So he said, yes, okay, you know, I've got to be better than this, you know. And I gave, it, gave him the four slips and he took them away. And then we had another meeting later on and he came back saying, yes, please, please let me do this. What it didn't work as was as a monster. I would say the Crotons were pretty well the most incompetent monster in the history of Doctor Who. They looked quite impressive, but they couldn't do anything. They couldn't walk, they couldn't hold their guns, they kept dropping their ray guns, and they kept falling over. So generally speaking, all you could do was cut to them in sort of dry ice, you know, swirling fog and effects, you know, smoke effects, and have them look menacing. They could loom. About all they could do was loom, but that was the extent of their talent, you know. A much better idea. I'll stand here and you stand here.